His taste, touch, harmonic wisdom, and versatility as a soloist, as well as an accompanist, kept him in demand for over 40 years. He can be heard on literally thousands of recordings. Who is Hank Jones? Here, on Big on Bebop. He was born Henry Hank Jones on July 31st, 1918 in Vicksburg, Mississippi. The family then moved to Pontiac, Michigan, where his father, Henry Jones Sr., a Baptist deacon and lumber inspector, bought a three-story brick home. One of seven children, Jones was raised in a musical family. His mother, Olivia Jones, sang, his two older sisters studied piano, and his two younger brothers, Thad, a trumpeter, and Elvin, a drummer, both became prominent jazz musicians. He studied piano at an early age with Carlotta Franzel, came under the influence of Earl Hines, Fats Waller, Teddy Wilson, and Art Tatum. By the age of 13, Jones was performing locally in Michigan and Ohio, while playing with territory bands in Grand Rapids and Lansing in 1944. He played with George Clark in Buffalo. He met Lucky Thompson, who invited him to work in New York City at the Oinks Club with Hot Lips Page. In New York City, Jones was inspired to master the new style, listening to Al Haig and Bud Powell. While constantly practicing and studying, he worked with John Kirby, Howard McGee, Coleman Hawkins, Andy Kirk, and Billy Eckstein. In the autumn of 1947, he began touring in Norman Granz's Jazz at the Philharmonic. From 1948 to 1953, he was the accompanist for Ella Fitzgerald, as well as accompanying her in England in the fall of 1948. He developed a harmonic facility of extraordinary taste and sophistication. During this period, he also made several historically important recordings with Charlie Parker, which included The Song Is You from Now's The Time album, recorded in December of 1952. He worked with Artie Shaw, Benny Goodman, recorded with Lester Young, Cannonball Adderley, and Wes Montgomery. In addition to being the house pianist in the Savoy label, from 1959 through 1975, Jones was the staff pianist for CBS Studios, which included backing guests such as Frank Sinatra on The Ed Sullivan Show. He was a piano accompanist for Marilyn Monroe when she sang Happy Birthday, Mr. President to John F. Kennedy on May 19, 1962. By the late 1970s, he was the pianist and conductor with the Broadway musical Ain't Misbehavin', based on the music of Fats Waller. During the late 1970s and the 1980s, Jones continued to record prolifically as an accompanied soloist in duos with other pianists, including John Lewis, Tommy Flanagan, and George Shearing. And with various small ensembles, most notably the Great Jazz Trio, the group took this name in 1976, began working at the Village Vanguard with its original members, Ron Carter and Tony Williams. By 1980, Jones' sidemen were Eddie Gomez and Al Foster, and in 1982, Jimmy Cobb replaced Foster. The trio also recorded with other all-star personnel, such as Art Farmer, Benny Golson, and Nancy Wilson. In the early 1980s, Jones held a residency as a solo pianist at the Café Ziegfeld and made a tour of Japan, where he performed with Sonny Stitt. Jones' versatility was more in evidence with the passage of time. He collaborated on recordings of Afro-pop with an ensemble from Mali and on an album of spiritual hymns and folk songs with Charlie Hayden called Steal Away in 1995. Among his later recordings are For My Father in 2005, a solo piano recording issued in Japan under the title Round Midnight in 2006. He accompanied Diana Krall for Dream a Little Dream of Me on the album compilation We All Love Ella on Verve in 2007. He can be seen on the documentary Note by Note, The Making of Steinway, released in November of 2007. In early 2000, the Hank Jones Quartet performed at the Lionel Hampton Jazz Festival in Idaho. In June of 2005, Jones was awarded an honorary doctorate of music from Berkeley College of Music. And in 2006, he played at the Monterey Jazz Festival. Hank Jones died on May 16, 2010 in New York City. He was 91. Hank Jones combined the beautiful soft touch of Teddy Wilson, the harmonic brilliance of Art Tatum, 
and the linear phrasing of Charlie Parker. He created a style that few, if any, could match. Hank Jones, a master bebop pianist.